PGA Golf Show. A lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, we just talked about the holding event at the Super Bowl. But since we're at the PGA Golf Show, it just makes sense to every once in a while we mix a little golf in. Now, the guy that's coming on, his last name's Urban. So let me just tell you this. It doesn't talk like Keith Urban. He's out of it. Yeah, but he's got to, he's got to have that accent. Without the accent, not Nashville. Keith's from Australia. No. So, uh, hey, Tim Urban, how are you? Good eye, everybody. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's it. That's it. That's all we're doing. That was awesome. That's it. That, that, that was awesome. Um, first and foremost, thank you for uh, coming by. And yeah, absolutely. By. My pleasure. And we're going to talk a, a little uh, golf. Talk about uh, the company Tacoma. Yeah. So, and this is the funny thing. So when I first heard of this company, I've been working with Tacoma. The funny thing is, you're not. Related the funny to thing Keith is, Urban. yeah, it's not related to Keith Urban, <laughs> and I'm a singer as well, which makes that even more entertaining. Uh, is that the company's name is Tacoma with an O, but everybody hears it and thinks Tacoma, and I did too when I first got, I, I started working with them a long time ago when they first got going, but I saw the logo, I heard somebody say it, and I thought it was Tacoma, so when I tell people it's Tacoma, I always have to spell it, because it's T-A-K-O-M-O, -O. it's a weird word because it's a Finnish word, and the company's based in Finland, and Tacoma means like forged in Finnish. So that's where it came from. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm super excited to be here. Thank you for letting me hop on for a oh, minute. For sure. So, so talk about the company. Talk about the clubs. Uh, you're saying they're the newest, the best, the yeah. hottest thing in the market. Yeah, so we're, we're a direct-to-consumer company. What that means is basically we just sell directly through our website to individuals who want the products, right? So we're that type of company. The big selling point for us is that we realize that manufacturing, um, that you could, you could still manufacture high-quality, high-performance golf clubs, and you didn't have to sell them for what people are paying for these big name brands clubs. So what we did is we manufacture the golf clubs using the same techniques everybody else does. You've got KBS shafts, Lampkin grips, but a full set of, of irons, four through pitching wedge for, with us. Start under $500. Which, if you're in the golf world, you know that's crazy. Some clubs are more. Powerful. Yeah, absolutely. And so now we, we started out with the iron sets. We've got 101s, 101Cs, 201s, 301s. And now we've got wedges. We've got fairway woods. We've got a driver. We've got driving iron. So we basically have filled out the bag. Uh, but the, the, the mission has stayed the same. We're trying to bring high-quality performance golf clubs to more people. Just make it more accessible. Sure. And uh, the big thing for us was making sure that we had the... Um, the credibility uh, of putting these clubs in some really, really good golfers' hands and letting them tell us, hey, is this, is this actually good enough for you? And, and this year we have a PGA professional Wesley Bryan is, is on Team Tacoma now. We've got another guy who's uh, just got onto the Live Tour as well. Uh, amazing, amazing golfers that are putting our clubs in their bag and they're playing for millions of dollars. And, and that's what I was going to say, and you kind of mentioned it the credibility. Yeah. You know, when you have professional golfers, you know, Hammond Eggers, hackers like us, you know, that's great to have mm -hmm. them in it. But when somebody that's their livelihood depends on, on, on their clubs, you know, with us it's the headsets, it's the equipment. Right. The clubs are their equipment, and for them to put their livelihood, their, their money, their family into your hands with the clubs says a lot. Yeah, and that and that's the big thing for us. Like we knew we knew we were making really, really good clubs, right? Because we're hitting them, we're testing them, we're doing all the same testing everyone does to make sure they're getting the numbers you want. But when when you're that high quality of a player, they, they have to be so much more precise because you can feel it. They hit the ball and they go, wait, that should have done something different, right? If it's, if it's not right. So for us, it's, it's just awesome to see that, that they also see the quality that's there and that we haven't had to jeopardize what we wanted to do, which is make the clubs more accessible, to make them that quality. So that's a huge thing for us. That's why we're so excited about um, really we're just getting started, but the future looks awesome. What does a golf pro look for? You know, when, when they first contact you, you first contact them, what's the first thing that, that they want to feel and get? Or yeah, sense? so I think, honestly, for, for each of these professionals, it's going to be a little different, but the big thing is they know their numbers. They know their golf swing so well. Like, we've worked with some of them where they're, they're hitting the clubs on the, on the track, man, they hit them on the launch monitor, and they swing, and they're like, yeah, that's going to be a, a two-yard fade. 
and they're like, what? And it's two yards, and it dropped right where they thought it was. And so it's like they know that. So when we put our clubs in their hands, they need to hit it and go, this should do this. And then they look up, and it does it. Right? So some of them, they want the softer feel. It's, it's about that, or it's about the numbers or the spin. There's endless things that they could be really queuing in on, but they have to hit the numbers. The consistency has to be there because, again, you're standing over a pressure, you know, pressure nine iron on the last hole playing for, you know, two million dollars. It's got to go to the number. So that to me is that's what they're looking for, and that's what the clubs deliver. Yeah. Because I'm sure that as people are listening to this, you hear Finland, you're like, okay, well, that's for Europe. Yeah. How do we get it in our hands here in this country? Yeah, so that's that's the biggest obstacle that we currently have, and that is that the reason we can offer the clubs at the price that we do is because we don't have the retail setup. We don't have all of these locations. We don't have that same overhead, right? So we don't have all the locations to try out the clubs. We are working on some different potential options to try to get them in more places to try. But at the end of the day, for most golfers, the reality is um, they're going to fit into one of the, the, the iron heads that we have, and then it's picking out the right shaft, right? And at that point, it's going to work great for you. Now, that's not to say that fitting process isn't a, a great option for a lot of people, um, but we also have the option that people can literally just buy the club heads if they're like, I really want to get fit. But they know, I'm looking for a distance iron, I want that forgiveness. Great. The Tacoma 101 irons, you can literally just order the club heads. You can take that to a club fitter and say, hey, this is what I want. Now let's try out some different shaft options. You know, let's try some different things um, since I have the club heads. And those club heads cost you way less than, than the, other, the other products that are on the market. So there are some options to do that. But that is one of the biggest obstacles. But a lot of consumers now, they go, listen, I know what I want. I've played golf long enough to know this is the shaft I like, this is the performance I'm looking for, and they can slot into one of the sets really well. What I'm looking for, if you can help me, I'm looking for a whole long, long, long head, you know, what, what shaft, what, what, what can you get? Listen, our, our, the, the founder of the company, the CEO, Sebastian, we were in Scotland a couple months ago, and it was the Tacoma 8-iron, 101T 8-iron, he dunked it, hole in one, uh, it was crazy, like straight in, took a chunk out of the hole. So I think currently the Tacoma 101T 8-iron might be your hole-in-one club. What kind of uh, golfer are you? So I'm about a five handicap golfer. Um, I, I'm that guy that probably swings too hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you watch me swing, and you go, "That's probably going a long ways." And it is. The direction maybe maybe right. isn't always where it the, should the, be. The distance, is yeah, good. yeah. But I'm um, I'm a golfer who just really just loves the game. I'm I'm kind of obsessed with it, which is why I love getting to do what I do, and, and I love working with this company because the company was started because our founder came back to golf after taking some time off. And he realized this has gotten crazy expensive. Like this is crazy that the golf clubs cost this much. And he just knew like there ha you can you can offer these at a better price. And so he literally literally that's what he did. He said I'm going to figure out how to make this work. And he did. He went and got the manufacturing, got, found the design, made sure he got the quality where it needed to be. And then he realized he was right. We can offer this for way less for such a better option. You know, and so many people talk about that. We just had Tom Shea, who's a local golf pro, and he's he's at a club and. And through some charities, you know, kids can come and play for five dollars. You know, growing up, who can afford you know, yeah. the golf course that my son just played at? It was one hundred ninety-five dollars. Yeah, I'm going to dinner. I'm not going to spend one hundred ninety-five dollars to go play golf. So finding a company that that can make these things accessible at a reasonable price, yeah. you know, is is very important to continue to support. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like golfers, if you're a golfer, you're passionate about the game. You want it to continue. You and you want more people to fall in love with it because that's the way it continues and becomes more accessible, becomes more affordable. So that's that's part of the passion behind what we do. Um, now, again, the big thing for us is we we had to make sure we weren't sacrificing quality, sure, right? Because sure. yeah, you can make something cheap, but the big thing for us is it has to perform. So when we knew we had that, we we knew we had a winner, and it's it's been great. So, so it's probably a bad thing if you take a swing and the head goes one way and the shaft goes another. You know, that's not exactly <laughs> what you're hoping for. You know, that's less likely to be your hole in one club. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, you you're, you are you are a handicap in, in. What do you think your handicap would be? Seriously, 112. Well, I'm not really sure how that system works. What about 
So the system, the system's kind of kind of hard to understand. More or less, they just take your, your best five rounds of golf over a certain amount of time and kind of take the average over par. It's more complicated, but that's that's more or less how it goes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Ty, Steve Monroe's is here. Yep, yep, absolutely. So here's another inside. It's not a cheat, but it, but it's like a cheat code, you know, for, from games on, on on how to win charity golf tournaments. You have a great golfer, Steve Monroe's, a former long world long drive yep. champ, blah blah blah. Then you have some clown like me that's handicapped as 212. So if you piece those two together, you're pretty much a shoe, and you're going to win a lot of these tournaments. Yeah, that's called sandbagging, and no, other no, no, and other golfers no, hate you. No, hold on a second. Sandbagging is when I have a 212 handicap, but I'm really a. Four. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. Sandbagging. Yeah, that's true. You that's know, true. We say Stephen Rose is zero. Yeah. You know, and we come in 412 under, and they call us cheaters. Right. And you need to go see this guy play. Yeah. I, I, I think it's very interesting that, that you said how much you love golf, mm -hmm. and that's why you're in it. Golf is the only sport. The only thing I enjoy because I stink at it. Yeah. I don't want to get any better. Yep. I just want to go have fun. Yeah, that's so many golfers, right? That's that's honestly, it's probably the majority of golfers. They play because they just love it. They don't have the time to go spend endless hours practicing, and it's like chasing a you know a, a zero handicap, being a scratch golfer. Most golfers just want to go out and have fun, and we get that. We know that. That's the reason that the first the first clubs we came out with were the 101s, the Tacoma 101 irons. They're a distance forgiveness iron. They're like the easiest clubs we make to hit, and they're awesome. They, they, most golfers go, hey, these are awesome. I love them. They look great. They perform well, but they're for that golfer that goes, I want to make this as easy as possible so I can just have fun. And yeah, that's that's most golfers. Do, do your clubs help the, the novice in playing 17 holes off, uh, awful, and then the 18th is when you get that great shot? Because that's what happens to golf. That's uh, why you come back. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so <laughs> with. That's that's like the that's the reason I continued to play golf for years is I would play terrible and then you have that one shot right that's what golf is yeah. for me it's like that one shot, but yeah I mean that's the idea behind some of the club design right you get into the design for the forgiveness and everything else and it is that like I've had a bunch of bad swings all day and then on that 18th you catch one just right and it goes perfect and it drops on the green and you're like oh okay we'll be back I'll, I will definitely spend that money again and play the game so I mean listen that's that's the goal. Sure. That is always the goal, is, is to help golfers have those moments that keep you coming back to the game. I think a lot of consumers, you know, when they think of the PGA show, when they think of professional golfers, they don't think it pertains to them. Yep. You know, it's like, okay, you're here, this is the PGA show, and you have to be a PGA golfer, you know, to use this equipment or mm -hmm. this club or whatever. And, and that's not the case either. No, well, okay, here's the thing. Um, there's no reason for almost any golfer in the world to play the, the irons that Tiger Woods personally uses. That's set, right? But that's the but I love golf because I watch Tiger Woods play golf. But for most golfers, they look at that for the credibility of the brand. They just want to know that, oh, you make good enough clubs for this guy? Sure. You got a professionals play your clubs? And then they go, okay, but maybe there's a set that fits me better. And that's why you have the lineup, right? You got the 301s for us. The Como 301s are that Fords, the players, they're not super forgiving. But that's what the PGA Pros are looking for, right? That quality consistency. But for most golfers, that's the wrong set, right? That's why you go the 101s. 101 tees, more forgiving. But you know that they're made from the same company right. with the same passion to make sure the quality is there. And, and I think it's important for me to say, you to say, you know, whatever, that, you know, when you have a celebrity, a, a, a pro golfer or whatever, if they're using Club A, they know that Club B is the same type of club. Right. It's more for us novice where my A is for the pro, but that they wouldn't stand behind your company if the other clubs were not right. just as good. Right, yeah, and, and also, like, that'd be so bad for us as a company if we're, we're putting a, a different set, like, hey, this is great, right. and then the other sets just fall, you know, are, are bad quality, you right. know? It really is just designed for different golfers, different different skill levels, different different purpose for the clubs, you know? And that's really what it comes down to. Um, if a PGA Pro was using our, like, 101 set of clubs, they're going to go too far for them because they got crazy swing speeds, right. you know? So it's like... The numbers aren't perfect. I can't wait to try this bunch. Uh, let's go. Can we get some uh, air conditioning tip on the producer? You guys look a little ratty. I mean, he looks like he's kind of got it got it on lock over there. A little bit aspiration. <laughs> 
I mean, well, we can talk afterwards. We can talk. But, but his hair is perfect for when he toured with Motorhead. I mean, Listen, that, that's the Motorhead look. I would have guessed that was what this per man's past life was. No, like, it, it, yeah, no, hundred percent. No, he toured with Motorhead. I, I believe you. He now tours with the Scorpions. That's so awesome. That that is definitely the look. I love How it. How can people get information? How can they order? Yeah, absolutely. So look. The, the big thing is just remembering the name, Tacomo Golf, T-A-K-O-M-O. -O. If you look that up, TacomoGolf.com is the website, right? That's where you, any order, anything like that. But my, my main job in this company is the outreach, the, the marketing, be in front of the camera. So we do a lot of social media content. We're on YouTube. We work with a bunch of amazing content creators, which is the YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok. So if you look on any of those platforms and you just look up Tacomo, T-A-K-O-M-O, -O, you're going to see us. You're going to see other creators we work with. You're going to get to watch them use the clubs. And then again, the website is just TacomoGolf.com. I think I found somebody to replace you. This, no this, this guy's no, good. good. This guy's well, good. That's his job. He's a marketing guy. Right. He, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, not, not Tim, thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Uh, hopefully we can do a lot of things moving forward. Yeah. Uh, not only Super Bowl coming up, golf tournaments, the events. Uh, Larry the Cable Guys tournament. We can get you guys out to that. Oh, that would be amazing. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely exchange cards. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk soon. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go hit a break. Coming to you live from uh, the PGA Golf Show here in Orlando. We'll be right back. Hey, my man.